In this tutorial, we're going to briefly touch on the subject of variables. Now, this is a really, really complex area that you can do some amazing stuff with. I'm just going to show you some of the basics and leave you to have a play from that point onwards. So let's create a new document and let's place some images on it to begin with. Back to our assets and let's go for our paint colors. Let's choose blue and green. Let's stick some big buttons in here. And let's put some text across the top, prompting the user to press one or other of those buttons. What's your favorite color? It's not a great page, but hey, it's prompting the user to tap on blue or green, depending on which of those is their favorite. Let's save our document before we go too far. Variables. Now, okay, that's all well and good. What do we want that to affect? Let's say throughout the rest of our issue, we've got some kind of header across the top and that's got a specific color, blue or green. It's like a theme for our magazine, let's say. Let's make one green one. And let's just duplicate that. In the same position and let's set this one. Let's choose a nice blue. So let's call this layer green header. and this layer blue header. So we've got both of them there. Let's hide them both initially. And we want to say, depending on the user choice on this first page, throughout the rest of the issue, whenever that header exists, we want to show either the blue header or the green header. So this is where variables comes in. What we want to do is we want to set a variable based on the user's choice here. So we go to our actions panel. We've got the blue dot selected. We're gonna say here, our action when the user taps on there is to set a variable. First thing we need to say is, well, what's our variable gonna be called? So let's choose something sensible so we know what we're doing. Favorite color. And we want to give that a value. So we want to say favorite color equals blue. That's great. On this one, we'll do the same thing and we will set a variable and we want to use the same name because we're using the same variable favorite color equals green so that's great so now when the user taps on one or other of these it'll set a variable that their favorite color is either blue or green and that will persist throughout their whole issue so they'll only need to make that choice once we now want that to have an effect on the following page in our headers so what we have here is a layer blue header and a layer called green header. Now, because we haven't got any objects selected, these actions now relate to the page actions that will get executed when the user lands on that page. So what we want to do is when the user lands on the page, if their variable setting is blue, we want to show a single object of the name blue header. And we want to add a condition to that that will only be actioned if the variable which we called fave color equals blue. Equally, if the user has set it to green, we want to show the green header. So we want another page action here of show single object, which is green header. And we only want to make that happen if fave color has been set to green. So let's do a build to our simulator directory. Open up our previewer, choose our variables issue. And here we have our first page. What's your favorite color? Let's say green. Now when we scroll to the next page, 
there's our green header. Now this really is just a basic introduction to what variables can do. It's a vast area. You can do crazy stuff with it. You can set up lists that you can that users can add to by pressing a button. They can press another button to email that to somebody. The possibilities with variables really are endless. And it's down to what you want to do with your magazine. It would be impossible to cover off every single possibility in one video. This is a really basic introduction just to get you thinking about how you can use this to make your magazine truly great.